Hi, I'm Gerhard Klemek. I teach solid state devices at Purdue University. This course is quite different in that it enables you to explore interactively data and visualizations on NanoHub. You'll get to know a technology that is 300 times smaller than a blood cell or 900 times smaller than a human hair. You will get to understand the technology that made computers like this iPad just as powerful as this Cray supercomputer from 1985. And why it did that? It made it 4,000 times lighter. It had made it 40,000 times more power efficient. It became much cheaper, 20,000 times more. And instead of selling just 27 units, this unit sold about a million on the first weekend and went on sale. So, this technology is just amazing. And comparing it to other goods, go, dating back to 1930, where here I'm charting commodities like milk or sugar, you see those prices barely changed at all. And these are inflation adjusted. Now, if you look at uh, technology products like um, the polyester fiber and the wind turbine or automotive industry, you see in typical technologies a factor of 10 uh, price improvements or performance improvements like this. But this technology you'll learn about in this course became a hundred million times cheaper. And because it is so cheap, it really changed human history. We have it all around us. And it's just as important as discovering and harnessing fire in the past. Now, you will understand these devices here. Transistors, photovoltaics devices, and lasers. And by the end of the course, you'll appreciate these uh, transistors at the end of the roadmap, and you'll be able to explain these transistors and these devices. You'll explain the processes on these devices. You relate the performance of the devices to the materials and design criteria, and you'll begin to speak a new language, the language of device engineers. And if you choose to do so, you can engage in device research after you complete this course. Now here, we will explore devices through simulation, like this crystal. Or you'll understand how many atoms you need for electrons to begin conducting through a solid. And you'll understand the electrostatics and electron flow through a transistor. All of that through interactive simulation and data. So I'm looking forward to be with you at the Solid State Devices. Thank you.